Hello everyone. My name is Andriani Marentek from Universitas Samratulangi Manado, North Sulawesi, Indonesia. First of all, thank you for the opportunity to present my ongoing study in this fifth international seminar on linguistics. And the title of my presentation is Students' Voices on the Effectiveness and Challenges of Online Lang Language Learning in the COVID-19 Pandemic Era. And uh, let me start with the background. As the COVID-19 pandemic has hit our country since March 2020, we all have been forced to adapt to the situation. At our university, our rector has been issuing many circular letters even to this date, which most of them instructing us to work from home and study from home. And since then, online learning has become the alternative to keep academic activities going. It's been almost two years now and many anecdotal examples or stories or even hearsay implying complaints from students about online learning have been heard and put forward. Review studies have shown some explanations on the strengths and weaknesses of um, online learning using their own context. And results of studies may vary from context to context, thus require different solutions. So uh, therefore, the study is conducted to investigate a student's factual opinions about online learning in our context. Two questions guiding this study are how effective is the implementation of online learning during this pandemic? And the second one is what are the challenges facing students in their online language learning? The method used is mixed methods consisting of quantitative approach using survey and the qualitative one using interviews, which will be conducted later. The participants responding to the questionnaire were 161 students studying language courses at the English Department, Fakultas Ilmu Budaya Universitas Samratulangi Manado, Indonesia. They were asked through WhatsApp groups and also through departmental announcements. The semesters vary from semester one to more than semester eight, and they are from various places in Indonesia, such as from Sulawesi, Java, Bali, Sumatra, Kalimantan, Maluku, and even Papua. In terms of the questionnaire, it was administered using Google Form and consists of statements relating to five aspects of online, online language learning. They are um, online learning in general, facilities, pedagogical aspects, students' engagement, and class material and assignments. Each statement is measured by a five-point Likert scale in which one represents strongly disagree, two disagree, three maybe, four agree, and five strongly agree in terms of uh, students' opinions. Respondents has to choose um, one option depending on their experiences. Now let's move on to the findings. The first aspect is students' opinions about online learning in general, which consists of four statements as shown on the table on the left-hand side here. The overall results can be seen from the chart on the right-hand side, showing significantly positive opinions regarding the online learning that can improve their English proficiency with 3.88 mean score of the Likert scale values. Their understanding of health issues that lead to the online learning during the pandemic has higher mean score, 4.17. And, but nevertheless, the majority prefer on-site face-to-face uh, -face learning rather than online learning with 4.14 mean score in this case. And although more than half of the students feel comfortable with the online learning, Many of them do not think so, as shown here with only a 3.41 mean score. Now, in terms of the facilities, there are six statements for data elicitation, as we can see from the table here. The overall results can be seen from the chart on the right hand side, where in terms of the facilities, they have positive opinions with 4.14 uh, mean score towards the online learning platforms such as WhatsApp, Zoom, Schoology, Google Classroom, Unstrat e-learning platform, and so on. As regards having electronic equipment to follow uh, online classes, 
most students agree to have them um, with 3.99 mean score here. This is significant. The facilities our university has provided in general, which includes um, tuition fees cuts, additional scholarships, food and health supplies to students residing around the city, and so on, receives 3.91 mean score, which is also significant. The internet quota provided by our, our university also has fairly significant acceptance with a mean score of 3.68. Nevertheless, in terms of having own internet quota and good internet connectivity, many students don't seem to agree with it. And they account for 3.12 and 3.33 respectively, which are not that significant in terms of their positive opinions. As regards pedagogical aspects, these statements are in relation with the teaching or learning methods and delivery in online classrooms. The four statements here and all the statements receive near four point scale values with the instructions that can be followed well sits at 3.92 mean score followed by the teaching methods that help students understand the materials well with 3.84 the well-delivered and well-understood materials, 3.81, and the learning process that can be followed well from the start to the end has a mean score of 3.75. So all receive pretty significant scores, which indicates that the pedagogical aspects are well implemented in online classrooms. Now, um, students' engagement and interaction is a difficult aspect to achieve in the online learning. And there are five stand statements that reflect this with parting score results. In terms of interacting well with lecturers, the mean score is fairly significant with 3.85 or the total skills. They also mostly agree that they can interact well with their classmates. Uh, this has 3.7 mean score. In terms of concentration in the classrooms, it seems that many also disagree with the statement with only 3.47 uh, mean score, which is not that significant. The lack of feeling of isolation in relation to both classmates and lectures also shows significant mean scores with 3.27 and 3.22 respectively. This might imply that although most agree that they can interact well with their peers and lecturers, in terms of concentration and feeling of isolation, many still feel a lack of them. This may indicate challenges in terms of engagement in online learning that they might experience. Now, the last um, aspect that is in terms of class materials and assignments, there are four statements in this category. From the table and chart, we can see that the that most uh, that most of them fairly agree that they can do their assignments well and submit them on time with 3.63 mean score. However, many disagree with the statement that the assignments are generally enough for them with 3.47 score. This can mean too much or perhaps too little assignment to many of them. Many also fairly disagree that they can understand the materials well and also disagree that they are generally pleased with the assignments with 3.16 and 3.31 means for values, respectively. This may imply some challenges facing students in relation to the materials and assignments given in online classrooms, particularly their understanding of the materials the amount of assignment given and their general satisfaction with the assignments and materials. To conclude, based on the findings from the survey, we can see some of the online learning aspects that might effectively implement it according to uh, the students and um, some also which may pose challenges to them. To them. Um, in terms of um, online learning in general, students tend to have positive opinions towards the online learning in general during this pandemic, although they understand the necessity of the um, online learning for their health. But the majority still prefer face-to-face -face learning rather than online learning. In relation to facilities, most uh, students have their own electronic equipment that ensure them to follow the online language classes. They also receive internet quota and other facilities pro provided by our university, 
which indicates effective imp implementation of giving support to students from the part of the university. However, um, there are some challenges in terms of the availability of internet quota and internet connectivity. In terms of um, pedagogical aspects, the majority of students agree that they can follow teaching instructions well, that the methods used help them understand uh, the materials well, that the, the, the process of learning can be uh, well uh, followed, and the materials are well delivered and well understood. This might imply that the pedagogical aspects are well implemented and effective in the online language learning among the majority of the students here. Concerning students' engagement and interactions, most students can interact well with lecturers and classmates, but some challenges occur in terms of their concentration in following online uh, classes and feeling of isolation. Regarding class materials and assignments, most agree that they can do and submit their assignments well. Challenges appear in the amount of assignment given by lecturers. <clears throat> Many are also not very satisfied with the materials and assignments in online class. And these are all the uh, results of the uh, survey yeah, conducted um, in the first part of this uh, study. Of course, um, the results are not enough and further investigation uh, is still needed. Some challenges need to be clarified further. Therefore, the, uh, the several results will be triangulated by interviewing the students to uh, um, do an in-depth study. And that's the next thing that I will be doing. This also concludes my presentation today. These are the cited references. And thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>